Hello everyone! Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of What? I'm um, Josh here and today I'm bringing you a few different things. So I'm bringing you little seamless multifunctional scarves. They're really cool. And then I'm also talking to you about balaclavas. And in modern day, these guys don't actually get the best rep. So I'm going to talk to you about the balaclavas and their origins. And it's actually really surprising. So let's get into it. I actually bought two of these next scarves here for two reasons because there's so many different purposes for it and they're actually really cool. So there's a neck scarf, there's a headband, there's a blind chicken, there's a cool so blind folk, there's a wristband, there's a full arm, there's a headpiece, there's an arm stand, there's a headband, there's a bell club where you can wear it as a face mask, there's a scarf, there's a hairband, there's a sahariana, which I have around, there's a safety and other headpiece that's tied to the back. Yeah, that's it, there's a bunch of uses, and you also use it as a cloud cap ribbon. So I'll okay. get to try those out for you guys now. First up is the neckerchief, it just sits around your neck and meant to keep your neck warm. The second is the headband. Obviously, you meant to put more effort into folding these, but I'm just getting through it quickly. The headband, then there is the blind chicken, followed by the wristband, followed by the follard, which is basically a headpiece like that. Then there's the Alice band, which is a headband but a thinner strap. Then there's the balaclava, and that would be done like this. Then again, there's a larger scarf. Then there's a hairband, but I don't have enough hair. There is a sarahiana, something like that. And that is basically when it's on your head and you have it tied up like that. Then there is a pirate's mask, which is when you tie a knot. And then there's also the cap, which is when you pull it up, you tie it around and you do a little knot and then you've got a little cap like that. So a bunch of uses, they're all for different headpieces and things like that. Um, it's actually a really, it's a very um, soft material, but it's actually really warm. So I've been wearing this now and it's only about 7 degrees here, but I feel actually really warm because my head's warm. So, really quick review on them. Stingy review, I would say they're at least a 6 out of 10 on the Stingy review because they were super cheap, great for costume parties, but they're also great if you want to keep warm if you're going out camping or fishing or anything like that and you just want to keep it warmer because they're a very breathable material and they're super soft against your face, so there'll be no irritation and things like that. Um, next, I'm going to talk to you guys about the balaclava. Now, the balaclava, this hat here, is often... Stereotypically, it's worn by criminals. But if you actually go back to the origins of balaclavas, they actually go back to the war times. So, so balaclavas were pieces of the clothing which were first used in the Crimean War. So this was between 1853 and 1856. Um, it was a war between the Russians and on the other side were the French, British, Sardinians and the Ottomans. And in 1854 the Battle of the Balaclava was fought and after that battle the this item here was called the Balaclava. Some other uses for the Balaclava are things like when people go skiing. Um, yeah, as I said before, there's a very massive stereotype about using these in robberies and things like that. I don't condone any actions such as that. If anything, I go against that. But they're incredibly warm, so if you're out camping with friends or things like that, you may look a, bit, look, look a little bit silly. But they are incredibly warm. As this one here, it actually has two layers. So you're kind of double insulated there, as you can see in the mouth and other places like that. There's two layers of fabric here, so it's super warm. Um, this here, it was super cheap as well. Um, quality, really great. It's really nice and thick. Um, it looks like it's gonna last for ages. Stingy review, I'll give it a seven, purely because I can tell that I, when I go camping with my family, I'll be wearing this because it's super warm. Um, secondly, really cool. I really can't argue that things aren't good when you get them for a nice cheap price. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys for all of the items here. Hopefully you enjoy and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Um, yeah guys, thanks. Like, subscribe and please share. It's really welcomed. Peace out y'all.